guys, Betsy here with Unique Paper 15. Thanks so much for stopping by today. Today is a haul video. I have a few things that I picked up here and there and then I just had back-to-back -back boxes come in on the same day. So i um, going on vacation tomorrow. So I wanted to go ahead and get these videos done so I can play with my new toys. So obviously you guys see some cute little Stampin' Bella here. Um, some of you may have seen that I posted I finally received my Stampin' Bella stamps and I was so excited and let me tell you guys when they announced like the release time I forget if it was 12 midnight or 9 in the morning I forget which one it was but the ones that are midnight I stay up for the ones that are you know 8 a.m. 9 a.m. I set my alarm on my phone so if I'm at work in a meeting or driving I stop what I'm doing and I literally log on to purchase so I was like a little bummed out that it took over two weeks to get these because I bought them on I think it was June 30th was the release and I saw others you know stamping and and showing their their toys so I was just like oh my gosh I thought that I would get them a lot sooner but that's okay got them yesterday and I uh, got a chance to color with a few of them before I go on vacation but I'm happy to have them home and here is all of the ones I got so I don't know if you guys remember they did that bundle deal that like if you bought the bundles you got 15% off so this is what I ended up getting um, I was gonna get a lot more but I figured you know what let me just get this much and then I'll see if I really want the rest later so I ended up getting the little the palm tree set <clears throat> that's for the little girl the palm tree this turtle you know there was one or two images out of every set that made me say I have to get that one the turtle is one on this one I think that's so cute and I like the little you know coconut pina colada thing there and I went ahead and colored her out right here that's her and then you see the pina colada and then you have the little bear guy I think they're so cute then the next one is the ice cream and lemonade set. <clears throat> what made me get this one is the pig. Do you see this little pig here? So cute! So I'll show you her. They're so tiny. I didn't realize they are going to be that tiny, but they're still so adorable. That's her. And then let's see here. This is the girl in her cute little outfit there. And the sun is a really nice size. And then of course the ice cream this is going to go with so many things very cute and then you have the lemon i went ahead and i made mine a pink lemon very cute then you've got these sunglasses that are really big i guess they're meant to like sit on their head or something because they're you know very disproportionate to the actual uh little so anyways there's those and then the lemonade itself, again, very large, but they're so cute. So that's those right there. Then um, this is the snorkel set. This is so cute. And the one that got me on this was the crab. If you see here, this crab is so cute. I just think he's adorable. And you can see it's not like a very big set, just a few little stamps, if that makes sense. So anyways, I got, uh, let's see here, this is the puppy dog, and then you have the cute little kitty, and they're all so cute, the cute little kitty, you have the adorable girl, and then I did two of the crabs here. These guys are so cute, I really do like that, they're just adorable crabs. And then uh, the bear, and this is all I colored from that set, I think they're so cute. Then this one is the, oh I'm so sorry, here's the palm tree and the surfboard, I forgot to show you this one. This is the surfboard, it's very nice, it's a big uh, stamp as well compared to this set if you see what I mean, like it's a big stamp. And then this is the palm tree, that's quite large, so it's a really nice palm tree and that goes with that stamp over there. Alright, now this one is the under the sea creatures and this one I liked them all. This was a home run for me for all of them. So this is Mr. Whale, very cute. This is the dolphin, or I'm sorry, the narwhal. Dolphins don't have horns, Betsy. Um, this is the turtle. I didn't get around to coloring him yet. Sorry guys. 
this is the um, the squid right here. He's a lot of fun to color. He's really cool. Much larger than you think. And let's see here. They got the starfish and some fish. They're just fun to color. And I don't know if you're familiar with all the Stamping Bella color maps, but um, Elaine Hughes, she are, you know colors all these as everybody knows but she gives you these color maps which is so nice it really does give you like a bearing on you know where to start with with uh, a new stamp set just to give you some ideas I really like that so those are all the stamps on that one and then these are just some extras left over from that like the the pineapple and lemon and then one of my favorites the little turtle guy he's so cute okay so that's all that and then I got the dies that go with the snorkel set which is this one with the crab that was the only bundle that they actually had um i think it was at midnight or something so that was the bundle deal right there okay moving on so i went ahead and i got a set of touch five markers i already got a set before of 30 and i ended up purchasing another set of 30 i'm not going to whip them all out for you but i ended up getting the landscape um, set this time. The first time I just got this, it's called the standard 30 and this time I did the um, the landscape. I can show you what they look like because I did a little color swatch. This is all the 30 I got this time around and this is the ones I got the first time around. So they're really nice you guys. They have beautiful colors and they come with a bag and uh, you do have a choice of uh, which set you'd like to get. You know, standard colors, would you like grays, would you, you know, they give you options. They're not a very high quality marker, I guess, comparable to Copic, but they're, they're great. Half of my images I color with Touch 5, and like I said, I got a set of 30. I believe this is 30. Um, I may have done more. I'm so sorry. I may have gotten... Uh, the 60 but anyways I paid $24 including shipping for that from wish.com so if you guys are interested I'll link it down below it's a really good deal for what you get so one two three four five six seven uh, one two three four five six seven eight oh yeah so I got the 60 set so and I have more in the drawer there so I mean that's a really good deal so anyways $24 and I'm just showing you a few of them what they look like here and they color really nice my first set is the white barrel I'm sure a few of you um, have touch fives but if you're looking to really bulk up your marker stash and you don't have a lot of money this is a really great alternative so happy to have those and then I posted on Instagram the other day that I received these stamps from Pernilla Nilsson and she is an artist from Sweden and she has some really cool digital images but she also has stamps that she makes so um, I'm going to show you the stamps but this is what they look like right here let me open this up for you this is the giraffe the little girl two birds and this bird holding an, an envelope there. So I'm going to show you the stamps now, but that's her information right there. Very nice lady and she has a very interesting story on how she got into um, basically art. And I did a card with one of her digital stamps the other day, but there's the giraffe. There's the bird with the envelope. And she sent these to me, you guys. She said, hey, try them out. Tell me what you think. This is the little girl with the little cute hair buns. And then the two little birds. So, very nice. So I definitely am going to be making some cards with these. And so if you guys are interested, check her website out. Um, she's on Facebook with all of her digital images. So I'll link that down below too if you guys uh, wanna see. Her prices are phenomenal. Then I ended up getting this really cute cat washi tape. No, I'm not a cat person but I know a few people that are, and it was just such a great deal. Let me see if I can find a way to zero this out for you. Okay, let's take a look at this washi tape. It's beautiful, and it has all these really pretty cats. You see the paw prints and the cats rolling around with the flowers, and it just goes on and on. 
it's really pretty. So I got this washi tape for a dollar, again from Wish. That's the website I uh, talked about before, and that's where I got the Touch 5 markers, and I get some of my dyes from. So, did that. Okay, moving on. <clears throat> After I made that card with the light that you press, and uh, like the Chibitronics, I guess <laughs> that's what it's called, that's the Chibitronics, I made that cute little card and when you press the acorn the fire lit up so I really was like oh I can do this I can do this I want to get more of that copper tape and da, 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 da. so I started looking around and Chibitronics gosh are so expensive and I know that it's convenient and that you have the little sticker light and that it makes it nice to hook the positive and the negative but I was thinking there has to be another way um, to you know get these products for less than $60 home. So, um, my husband being a, a, an electrical techie guy, he helped me out, but basically what we did was I bought a pack of these, um, three volt lithium batteries from eBay. So I ended up um, getting four packs of them and they give you five each. So I think I paid five or six dollars for this, don't quote me, it could have been three dollars and forty seven cents, I forget, it was really good, but you had to buy the, the bundle of the 20. So I got these, and I'm going to show you why this one's missing, because my husband set something, set a little display up here for me to show you guys. And then I got these lights that go with it perfect, but they're also colored lights. So it comes in a little plastic container here just like my sequins. I don't want to tip it too much. And here we go. They're colored. So it tells you these are the whites, the reds, the blues, the greens, and the yellow, and they have different sizes. I'm probably only going to use the three because, and you get, you see 40 of these, 20 of those, because they're small enough for our cards. And I'll show you what I mean here. I'll show you the difference. Oops, I just dropped one over there. Okay, so if you can see, they're very, very tiny here. Let me see if it'll focus on my hand. Do you see that? They're very tiny. So they will fit in your card perfect because they're almost flat. I know it's hard to see, but they're almost flat. But the five, I don't know if that means five millimeters or what, but they're much bulkier. You can see that. They're definitely much bulkier but they might be good for a different type of card or a shaker card or something like that. But the deal on this, I think I got this for 10 or $11. And you can see here how many you get. And they're multicolored. So to me, this was um, uh, 200 lights because I'm not gonna use the big ones and for $10. So great deal. So now I have the batteries and I have the lights and I went ahead and I got the adhesive copper tape. So I got a nice size roll of that. Now this may have been 347. It was very affordable. So I got a nice size roll of that. Well, when they arrived, my husband was saying, you know, you don't have to have copper tape. And I'm like, well, how do you get them to light up? And he says, you know, you can just use that tin foil aluminum paper. I said, no, I, I didn't know that. So he goes, yeah, you just, you know, glue it down so he did this little demonstration because he's so awesome I'm gonna show you so he just wanted to lay out the basics the negative side down whoops the negative side down to the ground right and then the positive side up so what he's done is he glued the battery on the sides and left the middle part non glued so it'd have contact with you know the tin foil and it's literally just regular tinfoil, you guys. We got some from the kitchen. And then he ran it around, and he did it different. I thought you had to touch the battery to get the thing to light. And he said, no, just as long as you have a closed circle, you're fine. So he put the light over here just to show you that you can put your light anywhere. And what he's done here, and you see that's a blue light. I don't know if you guys can see because of the, the light in here, but he just wanted to... Let me see if I can get that close enough. You see how beautiful blue that is? That's one of the small guys, and they are bright. So what he was saying is, say you wanted to do a sky or the water, you would just do, 
you know, light, 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 light bulb. And then you would just run your negative, negative, negative tin foil paper and your positive, positive, positive. And then when you touch this is when they'll all light up. I thought you had to run it to the battery and then press the battery every time. But again, I'm new to this whole, you know, card lighting system thing. So baby steps. I mean, right now I'm just happy I lit up a fireplace. So this really does like make it very simple for me. I hope it does for you guys too. And if you have any questions, please feel free. Ask. My husband is an electrical technical guru he knows all this type of stuff so i know it's not super complicated but for many of us it may just not be like what we're really good at so anyways i thought this was awesome so i have enough lights and batteries to last me for the rest of my life pretty much okay moving on all right so i got oh, let me get this stuff out of the way before the boxes i stopped at dollar tree yesterday and i got a couple things these are two folders that are the types that you can color. And I thought this would be a really nice gift to give to either a friend or a child or maybe somebody in school. And this is like a great way to keep busy in class when you're just kind of bored, but should be studying. So anyways, they um, have a bunch of different variations over at the Dollar Tree if you guys wanna head over there. Really good deal you get too. Then, I, sh I picked up two of these just because I happened to show you guys these in my craft room toward the other day where I keep all of my digital papers and uh, the papers that I'm not done, you know, coloring or cutting up. So they're the normal corrugated file holders and I already assembled the other one. So this one I haven't put together yet, but isn't that a good deal for a dollar? So if you guys want to run over to your Dollar Tree, they're there. Okay, moving on to the boxes okay first I got my Ellen Hudson order and I'm sure all of you are picking this up the the leading ladies crafty ladies I am so excited to have this when Brit announced this it wasn't even you know like a debate I knew I was getting it you know how there's those stamps that come out and you're like oh that's so cute I'll probably should you know I might get that but, and then there's those stamps that come out and you're like, I am getting that. So this was for me, I am getting that stamp. I could not wait to get this. So I'm so excited for it to be home. Um, so anytime is a good time to play with paper. I may not work out, but I'll die cut. And then I'm crafty. And she's got her ATG gun there. The la This lady loves to craft the scissors, her little watercolor palette, my kind of gun show, I'm in sync with ink, only fussy with scissors, keeping it trim, that's so me. She's got a craft bag, her glue gun, her paintbrush, her pencil, her Copic, card me. Crafty things are my bling, and then her uh, envelope there. And then I'm on the brink, send ink. I think this is so adorable. And you get so many stamps in here for such a good price i think it was 18 dollars. and of course ellen hudson you get her her very very nice uh envelope there which is just i mean worth buying her stamps period they're such high quality envelopes then um i went ahead and i got the dies as well uh, I forget, it was a really good deal together. Oh, it actually says Brandy on there, how about that? I guess because they're doing, you know, one of each girl in the design team. I think that's so cool. So of course you get the coordinating dies with it as well. And her oh so famous uh, ribbon there with their new mermaid tail. I want that stamp set so bad. The one that says uh, mermaids don't have thigh gaps or whatever it was. Oh my God, I love that. But one thing at a time so maybe next month i'll see if it's in the budget and i'll get the mermaid tail okay now to the boxes so i got an order from my favorite things and let me just say the last thing i bought from my favorite things was when i went to the scrapbook expo and i got the mermaizing so i actually didn't buy it from the release i got it at the expo because 
I love Birdie Brown stuff, but not every month when they come out with their release, duh, I'm so into it. So the Mermaid was the last thing I actually got from my favorite thing. So I was so excited to see this month's release. And it was another one of those things that I said, yep, definitely got to have it. It's coming home. And that was this guy right here, the Hippos. Oh my gosh, I think he's so cute. And you know, I was, um, I wanted to write, here we go, Happy Hippos. I wanted to write to some of the design teams asking them, can somebody do like a chunky zebra? You know, like a, like a, a chubby little zebra. I think they would be the cutest stamp set. So they came out with a chunky little hippo and I'm like, just as good, that's great, I love it. So this one says, you're kind of a big deal. Hip, hippo, hooray. Big, huge thanks. Sending you tons of love. It's your day. We'll always be friends. Be happy. Wishing you a hippo bird day. And then you have these adorable birds. The balloons. The cupcake stand. The birthday cake. And the hippo with the little cupcake. The hippo, the bow, the hippo, the cupcake, the hippo with the hidden present, the hat and the cherry. I think they're adorable. And uh, I believe they're, they're normal, what, 17, 17.99, I forget, whatever it is, it's their normal price. So I got that guy. And of course, I got the coordinating uh, dies. I believe it was a bundle deal or something they had going on. So I went ahead and got the dies with it. And I, got their big thanks die. I'm so happy to have that. It's like, you know, their really big hello die and I've made a few fun cards with that die. This, I have a lot of stuff in mind for that, so I'm happy to have this. Then I finally got the cloud stencil. It was sold out, so I'm happy to finally have this guy home to do some really cool stuff. And this says paint, spray, mist, sponge, create. So I'm definitely gonna do some fun um, ink blending and painting and things with this guy. Then I ended up getting two things free because it, I guess it's their birthday month or something. And it was if you spent $60, you got free shipping and a gift. Well, I got the free stamp for the birthday month and then I got the free die for spending $60. So this one is the handmade by, and then it says hashtag F, uh, MFT stamps. And then at my favorite things, kindness and clothes from my heart to yours, do not bend. I love that it says that I write that on everybody's envelopes, happy mail and a heart. Then this die here, which um, has a lot of different options. You can make the, the heart on the stick, you can make the heart hanging, you can do the flip thing. They were showing us a lot of things you could do with this little die. So really really happy to have that guy for free and then of course their candy and let's see here yes just so just so I tell you the right prices the the hippos stamps were $17.99 the big uh, thanks die is $8.99 and the dies for the hippos are 24 the stencil cloud is $5.50 and then this is the last thing I got I love their paper this is the night shift blue cardstock I love this cardstock I don't know if you guys have it but it's the prettiest blue and it's so 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 soft it just it's like cotton soft I love this and um, this was $6.99 and it's a really nice pack I think you get 24 in here so got that guy and how perfect, I already had this in my card, so how nice it's gonna go with the hippo is really nice, because gray and navy, those are very, very uh, nice complimentary colors. Okay, so putting that away. All right, moving on, one more box, and that's it. If you're still with me. Okay, so this is, this is my last Stamps of Life card kit box. I did officially switch over to the Die Hard Club. I did not do the thing where I add that and I get the discount because I just, to be honest, I can't afford it and I probably shouldn't have even kept the Die Hard Club. Um, but I'm gonna check it out for a month and see if it's worth it. If not, 
I might just, you know, buy from their store every once in a while because, you know, I don't have to have it monthly, but it really is a good deal. So here it is, you guys. Okay, so um, a lot of good stuff in here. Let's start off with this stamp set. It says Awesomeness, Positively Fantastic, Make a Wish, and that's in a really cute font right there. May all your wildest dreams come true. Dream big, shine bright, and sparkle more. That is really cute, and those are all just great sayings. It's always nice to have sentiments to put inside the card. Then these awesome, um, like puffy foam stickers with the rainbows there, very cute. And you can see that um, you get 10 of those. Then this little, 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 like sand dollar, I guess, die. It looks like a little sand dollar to me. You see what I mean? It's like a little miniature sand dollar. Then this says, lovely and I guess it's a negative and then the frame around it very little but that's okay it doesn't need to be huge then these really cute um, like diamondy glittery buttons these are so adorable I don't have anything like that and I love how everything kind of plays together with magical and sparkle and you know it's all very whimsical and here's the card that they gave I like that and some black twine I don't have any black twine I'm actually out of all black strings so awesome this awesome paper pack and let's see here and this is what I do like about being part of them the regular price and the club price I'm sure you guys are all familiar with that but you see that it's really nice just to get somewhat of a discount so 24 double-sided papers beautiful stripes polka dots look at these little chubby unicorns they're so cute rainbows falling hearts and flowers awesome in repeat stars triangles that one says grateful running down polka dots stripes I love stripes little like confetti kind of dots hearts but they're striped I don't know if you can see that they're actually striped hearts which is really cool then the zigzag print now this is what I'm gonna call like my repeat but in smaller so the little chubby unicorns the little rainbows and then some different type of paper some checker stripes and then we're back to the chubby so I think this is our official repeat right here so very nice paper pack then these little rhinestones, these are beautiful. They're the most purpley purple. Do you see that? They're very cute. And then the two ribbons, yay! This one's beautiful. It's like a deep blue with this, like a magenta red almost. Let me see if I can get that to, do you see how pretty that is? I think that's gorgeous. And then this really nice purple like a lavendery purple and then the oh so famous paper pack and yes I am going to miss this envelope but that's okay I have four now and they gave and I love their paper their cardstock too they have awesome cardstock so black this really pretty blue this corn flower, flower blue this lime green this beautiful purple this magenta fuchsia kind of color, orange, like a, I guess like a yellowy orange then, and then a true orange, and then some white. And of course, they always give you envelopes. And now that <clears throat> Karen taught me to make flip books, I am really excited about all the envelopes that I've received over, you know, the past year or so, because now I'm using them like crazy. I'm making a lot of people these awesome flip books and these um these flip albums and i'm just really having a good time with it okay so i don't think there's anything else i'm scanning my room there is only one other thing i did want to show you before we go and that is the flip book or flip album i'm sorry that i made and i showed on instagram the other day i did my best because they make you trim it down to one minute and I was trying to show you as much as I could so I'm gonna give you a little preview 
and this is for somebody so I need to kind of show this with hiding a name okay so it goes like this and you open it up and then it has a little thing here and then I put so basically here's how you open it like this okay then it's another door then it's another door then it's another door so are you with me so you have all these doors right so you decorate here in the middle you put up well you can do whatever you want you put a pocket and then decorate close and then you can put a pocket pocket decorate decorate and then you close like this and then pocket 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 and then you can put stuff in there and you decorate wherever you want so I'm not giving you the detail because I don't want the person who this is for to see all this stuff so anyways and then the back is this well the back cover and then this is the front and then on the back of the book itself you can decorate too so there are a lot of fun to make I posted on Instagram the template that I found from the DCVW I believe it's called the back of the paper pack there so if you guys want to check it out they're a lot of fun all right guys I hope you like the haul as much as I did um, if you want to check out anything you know further look at the description I'll put everything in there from the batteries to the lights to the touch five markers to the stamps everything I got and uh, thanks again for watching and I hope to see you in the next one bye guys